Good morning reception. Okay, so this morning we are going to be doing maths and we are introducing something new and we haven't done it before in class, which is why we are going to be showing you how to do it now. So we are doing something called doubling. And some of you might find this really tricky, but it's gonna be so good when you learn how to do it. So doubling is when you have one thing. So on this hand, I have five fingers. I have it on one hand. Doubling, I need two hands with five fingers. So I have one hand, I need two lots, and they need the same on each hand. So I'd have five and five equals 10. So double five equals 10. So this is what my PowerPoint's gonna show you. So I have a ladybird. My ladybird has one spot on this side. It needs the same amount of spots on the other side. So it has one spot, I need to double one and it needs to have the same on the other side. So this is double one, because I've got one on this side and one on this side. It's two lots, so there's one, two, there's two lots of one. One and one. So double one is the same as one, add one equals two. So double one equals two. Let's try and do another example. I have a ladybird again. I have one, two spots on this side. How many spots do I need on the other side? I need the same, so I need two spots on this side. One, two. So I've got one lot of two, and then I've got two lots of two. How many do I have all together? So double two equals four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Double two equals four. Let's try another one. Oh, this ladybird, this ladybird has one, two, three on this side. Remember doubling, I need the same again. So I'm gonna need another side. How many do I need on this side? Three again, so I've got three here, and then I've got three again. So double three equals six. Gonna do two more examples. Oh, okay, let's see how many I've got on this side. One two, three, four. I have one group of four here. If I need to double it, I need another group of four. Let me just get rid of this so we can go back to seeing our work. So I've got one group of four and I've got another group of four, well done. So what's double four? Double four equals eight, because it's four and four equals eight. Let's do one last example. My ladybird has one, two, three, four, five spots on this side. So I have one group of five. If I want to double it, I need two groups of five. So I have one group of five. And then I have my second group of five. Well done. And then I need to count them all together. So double five is the same as five and five, and that equals 10. Super. So today, in your work, you're going to be trying to draw the spots on the ladybird, and then you're gonna be trying to write the numbers. So you might have five spots on your ladybird this side, so you would need to draw five spots on this side because they need to be the same, and then you need to count them all together and tell me what double five is. Do you think you can do that? I look forward to seeing all your work.